What's up boys and girls, welcome to the BFF's YouTube channel. Make sure you guys tap the bell, subscribe, like yes. the video, and comment down below. BFFs brought to you by Raising Canes. We all worked the drive through two weeks ago. Stressful, fun. Thanks for everybody who came. Um, it's almost December, which means we're heading a thick of winter with cold temps. Great way to warm up is Canes. Hot, fresh, cooked to order. Chicken fingers, we have them right here. Their chicken fingers are consistently delicious, hand battered, cooked to order, served hot and fresh every time. Also, you got a big football game watch party coming up. Be the MVP and bring Canes. The chicken fingers, the cane sauce, Texas sauce, also satisfying. No matter the outcome of the game, it's a win. Satisfy your Canes fix today. There really is no other option. Come for the chain, Canes chicken fingers. Stay for the sauce. Order online at RaisingCanes.com. All right, BFFs, post-Thanksgiving. Um, I felt like I was walking to jail or like, uh, like what is that? The, what is the eight mile when you walk to like the, the... Death row? Death row, like when you're walking to the chair. Like I wasn't looking forward to this episode because obviously uh, I right. was... Big ass news. Uh, Sylvana and I broke up. I have firstly, how are you doing? I mean, it, it sucks. Question. Obviously, um, you okay though? Yeah, I mean, I it, yeah, it, it it it's a stinky situation. Um, but it is what it is at this point. So, uh, and I haven't talked about it at all because it's. I feel like she talks about our relationship a little more than I had, like publicly and TikToks and things like that. But obviously, I have to talk about it because everyone knows about it, and that's what we do in the show. So, you know, we dated just about three years. I don't know whether it was my choice, and she's made that really clear. I don't know whether it's better to be, I, I've heard people ask this, um, the person who gets dumped or the dumper. Like, if you actually oh, yeah. care about the person, it sucks. To do it, yeah. Oh, it sucks. It's the worst feeling. And I was right. dreading doing it, and it just sucks for everybody. It sucks for her, it sucks for me. Um, nothing happened. There was, like, the, obviously those Raquel Levis like rumors which were insane out of pocket and, crazy and i didn't even address them because yep. i thought they were so insane until the new york post like sent me this text and and they're like hey can you confirm that you and her were in the same city in some podunk city in chicago some nothing city Cary, illinois yeah Cary, illinois which is crazy that her and i happened to be in the same city on that day i was doing pizza review i don't know what she was doing there but i know the new york post and they were getting ready to basically say Look, they did probably hook up because they were together. So I squashed that, called her a trash bag, which is a different topic, I guess, because I then people are getting mad at that. But I mean, Raquel Levis was is famous for like. I mean, I don't get why people get mad at that. She's the biggest scumbag. Total that could have ever been the biggest scumbag. Yeah. Yeah. What's her name? And I'll get back to the relationship stuff. But um, who, Bethany keep, Frankel. Bethany Frankel like texted me being like, you have to apologize to her. It's like, why? What did I say about her? That's nobody has said a million times. So whatever. I squashed that. Um, there is no good time to break up. I was getting a ton of heat because like how Dave break up like the day before Thanksgiving. It wasn't. Okay. But kind of worse if you hold out through the holidays. and So it wasn't planned i got back on a i've been traveling so much for work and honestly i think work sometimes myself like i get so wrapped up in it it hurts my relationships but um i got back on a sunday from traveling we broke up that sunday night um and it wasn't expected we got into a conversation that just was kind of organic and one thing led to another it was obviously something that was on my mind and everyone's like well why or or like it we were dating for three years and I I guess you get to a point where you think maybe there's a difference in what somebody wants versus what the other person wants. And without going into too detail, I just didn't think I could give Silvana kind of what she deserves and I'm sure we'll get and it's easy to say now, but it's so raw and fresh. But like I truly she's so beautiful. She's funny. She's smart. She's all these things. It's probably a me issue or, or whatever because I'm old and single at this point. And I'm sure she's going to be great. But it, it, if I don't think I'm the guy that she's looking for is going to be able to provide her what she needs down the road, like three years at my age, at her age, it's like, what are you doing? Um, and that was something that... Well, it becomes a little like 
unfair for her at that point too. You're right? stealing her like, youth stealing a little time bit. From her, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you gotta if you know you're not gonna give her what she's wanting. You're kind of being the more like mature, responsible person in Does that she moment. She just want to like might not seem have kids way. and stuff. It's no, it, I don't want to go too personal. I don't, but it it because I don't want to put words in her mouth or anything. Yeah. I'll just say it was a conversation that wasn't the first time her and I had had that conversation. So it wasn't like out of left field, but it's still hard because it's hard for me. I saw her. I am still kind of seeing what she says. She's like, it sucks. You lose your best friend and all, and you know somebody you want to spend. All, the rest of your life with and it and overnight yeah i lost like my best friend as well um but i just couldn't so it felt like i i i knew where i was at and at some point on a personal level you have to be somewhat selfish as hard as that is because i was dreading it and dreading like i i still love her and course, am very concerned yeah. what happens with her uh but it, it it's I don't know. It felt like it's not fun. I knew eventually I thought a breakup was going to happen. So to let days continue to go by. Didn't, it's not fair yeah. to either of you guys. No, not fair at all. So not it sucks. At all. It's been a shitty week. I didn't sleep for like a week. Um, Ugh. And now I'm kind of like a nomad because it, it's doubly hard when we're living together. Living together sucks. Yeah. yeah. So it, it, it's a right. fucking mess. Right. The whole situation. Well, is. I was going to say. When I saw that she was like, because obviously the videos are going to pop up like on my for you yeah. it has to do with you mm -hmm. and everything. And I saw we were just at your house. So I saw the videos were being posted from your house. So I knew when I saw that, that there was no way that there was like a huge issue that led to the break or like it was like a big fight or scandal. Like we were saying, cheating, not cheating, which was you were being accused of. And, and I'm waiting because I've read now so much stuff. I've seen fake shit about me i've seen a lot like the internet just explodes obviously people don't like me you can say stuff so it's just a really shitty situation i hope best case scenario that like you know in five years she looks back and she's happy and she's found like her soulmate and all that um that she's like yeah it was actually the right thing at that time obviously what is today we're filming this on tuesday yeah so where yep. um just over a week. A, a little over a week. And, and you want to talk about timing. People are like, how could you do it? Her parents were over the house. My parents were over that. It was... Uh, I, you you can't really plan a breakup. You couldn't... There's never a good time. Yeah, you can't plan that. If you don't, never a good time. Yeah, it's like what? That sounds like an extremely bad time, though. If it, both parents are there, that kind of seems like awful. that's... awful. Yeah. But, I mean, if you wait till after yeah. Thanksgiving, then guess what? Christmas is right there. So you're like, let's go through Christmas. And then New Year's and is right there. And it's kind of weird if then, you know it's going to happen yep. through yeah. the holidays together. So it, it just sucks. Sucks, either sucks, way. Sucks, sucks, sucks. Um, I'm sorry to the both of you. I hope you guys are both okay. Yeah, for real. Yeah, for real. I appreciate it. So, yeah, that's, uh, that's that. That's not that that's that. But that's really all I'm probably ever going to say about it. People have been... Mm. You know, in just demanding answers and whatnot, but it is a super personal thing. So that's for you. Doesn't make it more tough. Doesn't make it more tough when people are like, you know, accusing you of cheating. And no, stuff like I don't that, give a fuck. Just, like, not even give a shit. I honestly not don't even, give yeah. a fuck. You know, uh, my, I guess my issue would be like when I was doing this, when I was thinking what I want to say or how I would say it. I, I don't want to make it seem like uh, I'm looking for any sort of like sympathy. Like it was definitely my decision. I wish it didn't happen. Like I, you know, but I want her go follow her and support her. And I hope she, you know, one thing that always happens, I, I'm like, obviously very successful with Barstool and all that. So I want her to blow up and be like fucking, you know, the next Alex Earl and people follow her through a breakup and she makes more money than me in the end and is happy ever. Like I'm rooting for her. I really am. So, um, right. You know, that's, that's lovely. A, yeah. Very lovely. Very lovely. But I am. Um, okay. Moving past that. We could probably stop the show. That'll probably be all we need. Austin. Will, <laughs> Austin's probably going to cut that. He already asked. He's like, can I title this? Dave spills the guts on. It's not what I said about <laughs> cheating on his girlfriend as the headline. And then we'll just be like, just kidding. <laughs> I just said addresses his breakup. Just straight facts. I'm surprised no that'll be. Did Dave cheat? The rumors, like no. I Dave, I kinda, I'm pretty sure that's probably that. a headline. I'm pretty sure that's probably a headline Austin's used on me before. A hundred percent. And people, 100%. I, a couple of people, I, I, they're like, are 
Bree and Josh can grill you? I'm like, I don't think so. It's like a very different. Like everyone's no- like, you got to get your revenge, Bree. You got to go in. But I'm like, it's a breakup. Yeah. And I like, I love Silvana. I know Silvana. I'd, I maybe if I hated your girlfriend, then I would do that. But I don't know. It's different. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. But Dave kind of felt like us today. That that eight mile walk. That death row yeah, walk. It, no, it's a bad walk. You've been in those it's shoes many times. Walk. It's not a fun walk. No, no, no. It's not a fun That's walk. So now we've all been not... there. And like, I didn't know when yep. Silvana dropped that first TikTok. Like, she was at my house. I didn't know it was coming. It was I like... hadn't. I was like, whoa. Oh, my gosh. The amount of people sent that TikTok to me. Yeah. And I'm like, well, I'm not going to call Dave and ask him what's going Team on. Sylv, fuck you, Dave. Everything I post. Dave smells like cheese. Fuck what you say, Dave old man. Dave has the, sti- d- d- the yeah. cheese touch. Everyone's Everyone's like, like, cheater, 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 cheater. I honestly think I'm Crazy. probably going to just be like that old guy with a zillion dogs. Like that, I think, is where yeah. I'm at. Because I'm a weird people ass. It's like, I think I have a personality flaw. And like, I love being alone. Like, I love my own space i love my own time alone i don't like humans that much um yeah we went to his house and i'm like why don't you throw like you, this is the best place to entertain and he's just like i don't like yeah. people yeah i hate people <laughs> i was like I what is people. this all like this is humongous you could have 30 million people in his backyard and Silvana did really good because she's the opposite she loves people and loves socialize with like her friends and stuff um and she did adapt to my lifestyle, but it's like, we're very- You, you adapted to, to hers too. Yeah, we're very, very different in that regard. And we always will be. Right. Um, so, I don't know. All Can right. you just marry a dog? 30 dogs. Mm-hmm. For real? Yeah. Start us That's not a bad if I life down the aisle. No, I, well, some may say like a hermit. So like you, you guys, if I'm like old- and like in a wheelchair and so you got to feed me make food. me sad. It'll have to be you guys feeding I'm me I'm going to picture hey, I'll do it. in a wheelchair oh, I with 30 there, dogs. Man. Like, yeah. I think my I'll job description do might change to... when you yeah. become like 80 <laughs> yeah. and just push yeah. around in a wheelchair. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Do we get canes. to stay in that big ass crib though if we're doing yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, we could put Fuck him in the side Yeah, house. dude, I'm I there. He doesn't need much space. Yeah, yeah, he doesn't need much space if Just he's like, invalid. Wild, wheel me out to the water and let me like search for manatees. Yeah. That's pretty soon, Josh. Dude, that's every good. day. Is. I got <laughs> that. I got that. Yeah, little bro, Easy. little sis got you. <laughs> Put like those yeah, no. uh, sound BFS for life. headphones BFS on for me, life. so I don't know what's going <laughs> we'll on. We just throw ragers? Ragers, I won't be able to turn <laughs> yeah. around. I'll just be like looking. <laughs> yeah, we'll just, Bree, we'll just like kind put of put him in his room. Sound canceling headphones, throw him like maybe even just on the dock and we don't let anyone in the party go on the dock. He won't even know. Just yeah, right. replay even know college football him. games and just give it to him. Yeah. 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 It would be Easy. the best of both worlds for all of us. I'm Could be a win for, for everyone. Cheers. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Cheers. I love that. All right. Roback. Roback afterwear. It's holiday season. Roback's back. I love Roback. It's the polos, hoodies, Q-zips, the gear's fantastic. Super comfortable. Best fit. Best feel. Exciting news is there isn't a better gift than Roback. Their performance hoodies are the most comfortable hoodies out there. Best way to start your day with Roback hoodie. So soft, you'll want to wear them all the time. Wear them commando. Uh, their performance joggers are next level. Smooth fabric that moves while you keep comfortable. They also recently expanded their awesomeness to women's line. Roback's new performance hoodie and jogger sets are incredible. So soft, we can't take them off. Made with their signature V-soft fabric. Hoodie and jargon sets are the definition of cozy. Best part about wearing Roback is when you see someone rocking that dog logo or those two stripes in the back, you give them a subtle nod, you know they get it. So go check out Roback for the holidays. Use code BFF for 20% off your first order through the end of the week. That's R-H-O-B-A-C-K.com. 20% off all performance hoodies, polos, joggers, women's gear, just in time for the holidays. Go to Roback.com. Use code BFF for 20% off your first order. Start the holidays in style. I wish I knew they were sponsoring this because I have it so much. You would have wore it. I would have wore it. Mm. I literally wear it like 50% of the time anyway. So future, let me know so we can do it. But I do wear it all the time and they're super comfortable. <laughs> Moving on to our more typical headlines. Drake is afraid to release music on the same day as Taylor Swift. In Drake's new song, Red Button, he rapped about how Taylor Swift, the only person who could make him drop his album later to avoid competing with her for streams. Um, Taylor Swift, the <sighs> only... That I ever rated, only one could make me drop the album just a little later. Rest of y'all treat like you never made it. Of course, that's respect. The yeah, ultimate respect. Yeah, I mean, respect. who would want to drop music yep, on the same yep, day? Yep, it kind of rests the case. Yep. It kind of rests the case. Uh, I guess Drake even even said it himself. Taylor, Taylor's the goat. 
Page six puts Bree on blast. Page six put Bree on blast for point. She thought Travis and uh, Taylor, Ta- Travis and Taylor's relationship was fake. I thought this I was, was more so like, do you think it's performative? Yeah, I thought they I, I thought it was a little bit out of context. And I had your back. I said, this is bad, but I do feel taken out of context. And I said, my inner circle of Taylor people who I'm continually like, when do I get to meet Taylor? When do I get to meet Taylor? <laughs> They're like, well, you better control your girl. Like you got your own people oh. coming at. So I was Shit. taking but for the from sake all of angles. you. I'm no more. I'm never going to talk about Taylor again. All right, good. Yeah. They, they didn't say anything about me, though, I, Dave. I, I, like, I never say anything, say anything about about negative. No. They didn't say anything. O'Malley good. cries to Taylor so Swift. In, I'm all right. Is Josh going in and out? A little, a little for bit. me, yeah. Am I going in and out? It's just his internet. Like your internet? Your yeah. voice. Oh, man. O'Malley says, although she's not tired, Swifty, long live, can always make her tear up. And then someone said, your best friend's going to think this is performative. O'Malley it looks like she didn't even know what that was. Let's see O'Malley listening to Taylor. <laughs> Don't cry, bestie. Yeah. That's that's what Taylor does. Yeah, it's beautiful. She I brings guess. you to tears. Um, that is kind Cal- of a funny comment. Kind of a funny comment. It's hilarious. Like performative. It's a little callback. It's a little. No, Mally's never. Uh, no comment on Taylor Swift. Donna Kelsey works <laughs> at Raising Canes. I didn't understand this at all. What her working there? Yes. She's the hot. She's the hot shit right now. But why does she want to work? There? She probably. <clears throat> I think she's like kind of likes, likes being the in the attention. spotlight. Yeah. Why not? It's like. Dude, you're just old stressful. and chilling, and she's just like, but everyone loves her. But it's stressful. Like, we did it. Did it? Like, oh, I, working there, I, yeah. I, like, didn't have fun working the register. I was stressed as fuck. I was stressed, yeah. It was, it, it, like, everyone I wanted to talk and take pictures, and I'm like, what What do you want? I got to get this order in. It was really stressful. I was pretty good at it. It was pretty easy. It came easy to me. It's, like, natural. Mm. There's a lot more on Taylor. We're going to skip. Uh, Kim Kardashian is GQ's order, man of the year. Order. Kim Kardashian named GQ's 2023 Man of the Year was Drew Mixed Reaction to Fan. I don't even understand. She's not a man. That's the only thing. That's, that's what I was saying. I don't I don't not stand for it, but I don't understand it. Uh, Bethany Frankel explains. So Bethany Frankel, I, I alluded to this. At 1 a.m., she texted me. Texted me. She's it's like, late text. Late text. Yeah, and I was up because it's in the breakup. I wasn't sleeping. I felt awful. And she's like, um, do you know Rachel Levis, Raquel Levis? And I was like, I only know her from being the trash bag from Vanderpump Rules, and she gave a dog back to a shelter. Like, that's the only thing I know oh, about her. We talked about I didn't know that. I forgot about the dog yeah, shelter. I forgot about that. Rex. Yeah. She was hooking up with her best friend's boyfriend of nine years so i i got in a the little dog's bat- worse than all of that I, we talked about josh yeah we were we How talked about it on bffs if you give a dog back to the shelter that's like giving your kid a w- back to the hospital it almost makes me like you always wonder with reality tv like how much of it is fake how much of it is real this this subhuman is a sociopath yeah certifies it yeah murder her get her off the planet piece of shit yeah she's heartless look at the little dog look how sad it looks in james kennedy's instagram story stole her best friend's man and did that oh my what god an absolute piece of shit dumbass raquel she should be returned to the shelter yeah what a horrible person yeah the the ex like wanted uh, the dog back and she gave it to a shelter instead of him i think was one some- of those that's spiteful. I think sometimes on this show, I I just make myself have a memory of a goldfish. Five seconds, well, right? So I can move on and be happy I will with my say, life. And I will I say, I, I wouldn't that. have remembered it, but people are sending me the clip because when people are saying I hooked up with her, they're like, Dave is on the record of despising this woman. Yeah. So I don't think that could possibly be true. But no way. we'll see what Bethany says. So I, I, I would lose been, all my respect for you, Dave. His lose voice all my is respect just in and out. You did that. Yeah. It's just in and out. In and out, yeah. Um, damn. So Bethany, who I say I'm acquaintances friendly with, texts me and she uh, and she asked that about Raquel and and then she's like, "You owe her an apology. No, it's not true. What happens? Like, what are you talking about? I think I wrote back at the end. We went back and forth. This is one a.m. What was, the hell? I was like, I gotta be honest. Do you guys talk often? No. I was like, I would never give unsolicited advice to somebody that has our relationship. Like. Who are you to tell, like, 
who the fuck text it, you, at you know what it remind me of scud ron who the fuck do you think you she's like i have institutional laws i don't give a fuck what you have who the fuck do you think you are yeah that's really out of pocket for her to text you at one in the morning and give like, you advice yeah well, like i it's your mom well, know your audience first of all you think i give a fuck what you think <laughs> like did she think you're gonna read it and be like you know what bethany you're fucking so right. what does she say here about the man of the year probably that we're all wrong and we need to change our minds can someone explain to me why Kim Kardashian was the GQ man of the year? I can explain it. So in the same way that certain people will be asked if they would like to receive the X of the year award at events, but then they have to sell tables, get big donors, and they bring in a lot of media. The Royals are a great example of people that get asked to receive these awards and they bring in so much media. So it's great for whoever asked them. Kim Kardashian will bring in way more ad dollars than any man they can think of. So they had to do that issue. Everything in business is about the Benjamins. So Kim brings in the Benjamins. That makes sense. That's what I was asking. She's still not a man though. Yeah, I mean, that was a little not a man. answer. That was a little yeah. bit literal, like no shit. But yeah. still, she's not a man. Right. That's why I said, yeah. okay, let's just have legend of the year. Like why do men woman if we're gonna do a woman as the man doesn't make any sense machine gun kelly wants to change his name gq men of the year event machine gun kelly told the press he wants to be called machine from now who cares whenever people change their name no one ends up calling them that the was the one. worst headline i think we've had in like <laughs> a little while who fucking cares you know what's crazy is we even put the headline after it as machine clip yeah. we conformed to calling him by his name well, it was right a little away. bit funny he's just on the red carpet being like excuse me guys can you call me machine now that's funny who would actually call him machine gun kelly they did in the clip they start calling him oh you mean the full name yeah well what would you call him mgk yeah yeah so he maybe just wants people to call him m maybe maybe mm -hmm. Matt Reif canceled for his comedy special after we had him on uh. Matt Reif has been canceled for his comedy special due to opening joke uh, being about a woman having a black eye and how if the woman could cook, she wouldn't have the black eye. Many fans are upset for this joke, uh, likely because it's predominantly female fan base. Uh, he posted a link on his Instagram story for his official apology, which led to a page for special needs helmets. Jesus. I Listen, comedy is comedy. I don't really, you. Yep. I don't think you can go into comedy and then complain about the comedy. I don't nope. get this Matt okay. Rife guy at all because he seems kind of like, softish when we had him on and then you see this and this doesn't come like i respect him for this but then he gets so sensitive he seemed really sensitive when we had him when yeah when you were talking about it, um insecurities and stuff yes yeah it, it is a big switch up to for him on the pod and then to post a special needs helmet like i feel like he wouldn't have said that on the pod correct but i don't know maybe he's just louder on social media maybe and he was nice when he came on ours. He, he was yeah he like he didn't have that like edge like nice this. yeah yeah but like, mm. I did I you guys watch his comedy, comedy special? Uh, no. Did you watch his comedy special? I did. No? Yeah. No. What did, did you think? I thought. I mean, I didn't really know what to she expect like going it. into it. She didn't like. No, no, no. I thought it was funnier than. If I expected. somebody asked you, did you like his? Com what do you think his comedy? I said special, I liked it on the pod. You answer, uh, well, I. You know, I thought. Well, I G. It was. Yeah. I said uh, it on the pod. It was uh, better than I expected. I never seen his stand up before, and like him in person, yeah, I, I wouldn't expect was... his special to be super funny. But it was funnier than I thought. Yeah, I thought it was. I think that. But I hate stand up. You know, I hate stand up special. I don't I really it. like stand up either. It, I, don't, I hate it. Yeah, I, I like stand up a lot, but I think that uh, a lot of people that followed him kind of are used to you know seeing him like talk about sex and talk like take the belt off for the TikTok. But you know what I'm saying, like and. He really grew a female audience. And then when he started coming out with <clears throat> this comedy special, which is a little bit more intense than the stuff you see from his like banter with the audience, people kind of just like all flipped on him. But the people that are flipping on him are the same girls that said eight months ago, if you're a guy and you don't like Matt Reif, that's a red flag. So it's like, yeah, what's going on? Yeah. What, what's going on right now? Why? What's the switch up? So I think people just need to realize comedy's comedy. And Only stand up that makes me laugh. If you're gonna go to stand up, Shane Gillis. Oh yeah, I mean, you like Shane Gillis? It's great. He's yeah, great. I haven't There's listened to enough. He, he, he's unreal. funny when I've seen. I've only he's seen so him funny. in our world, to be honest. Yeah, he's like weirdly involved with Barstool, well, yeah. Caleb and stuff. He loves Frank the Tank. Yeah, he went to doesn't? like a Notre Dame game with Frank the Tank. That's beautiful. Um, Stephen Trey tried to fight him. Stephen Trey tried to fight him. Yeah, fight him on the um, case race. Case race. <laughs> uh, Karina Koff calls out Brecky Hill It seems Brecky Hill has moved on from copying Live Done After Karina Koff called her out Brecky Hill For copying her Instagram pictures and captions Honestly 
I almost more now. Respect. I, I've Brecky. never been Brecky Hill fan. I thought what she was doing, Livy Dunn, was ridiculous. But if she's gonna make this her thing and start bouncing around to like various influencers well, then how smart is that because then yeah. corinna's all of the Correct. guys that follow her only fantasy brecky and are like she's so hot let me go check her out it almost you gotta tip your cap yeah. yeah it's a it's a marketing scheme that has worked so well yeah, right. she knows what she's doing and so it doesn't well. seem as personal when you just start doing it to like other hot girls yeah 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 it's just like that's her thing now it's not like a vendetta against one right. person C corinna fell for the trap yeah corinna like she literally did. like went for the cheese and got her hands stuck in the trap yeah Jack Harlow versus Dolly Parton, uh, Thanksgiving halftime show. The internet has been carrying Jack Harlow's Thanksgiving halftime show to 77-year-old Dolly Parton's, which were three hours late. Jack Harlow was the worst performance I've ever seen of anything anywhere. That, like, was borderline a career ender. I didn't even see it. It was yeah, horrible. It was, is it this not the good. setup Apparently, just like, looks no one like could hear it. terrible, too. It was horrible. I don't know what he was doing. Dolly, I appreciate. Dolly's a legend. Wait, can we see, Jax? I didn't it see it. It was horrible. Yeah. Who's the guy behind him? <laughs> it was horrible. I mean, it looks like five minutes before they were like, fuck, you need to do yeah. a halftime yeah, the show. The set design is crazy. He sounded like good for a rapper, though. Well, I mean, it wasn't, he wasn't rapping. I mean, Dolly Parton is just Dolly Parton, though. Yeah, just, Dolly's she's so hot. Was, Dolly's, Dolly's, I mean, Dolly's a legend, so I liked hers. I, yeah, the Jack Hollow was yeah. stunning. Yeah. Leonardo. It's hard to compare anyone to Dolly, though, when she's going to go and have that halftime show, but also, like, you know, throw up a little more than an igloo and two ice blocks, probably. Where are we at with Harlow? I know he was, like, legitimately the hottest, biggest thing in the country for a while. He's back. He's number one again. Is he? Yeah. So, I just saw that today because um, he dropped a new what? song. I thought he was, like, based. He, I was going. He came back. Was, oh, all right. So he's still hot. I he's thought back. He was, I thought he was, like, yesterday's news. Yeah, he, well, he, like, mellowed out for a little bit. But, and then his, he dropped an album. But that's, and kind, of the, that's the, kind of how artists go. It's, yeah. it's, it's uh, up and down, right? When they're not dropping Ebbs music, they're down. When yeah. they're okay. up. Everyone should actually pay attention to Kid Leroy. That guy's new album is fucking crazy. Well, that guy's huge, isn't he? Kid Leroy? Yeah. He, it's pretty big. Yeah. yeah. It's pretty big, but I think Jack Carlos had a bigger last two years than Kid Leroy. Yeah. Yeah. No well, doubt. Leonardo raps his 49th birthday. Leonardo celebrated his 49th last week with a party where he rapped over the gang star nice and smooth song DWYCK. I don't know what any of that is. Uh, people on the internet have called Leo's performance cringe. What do we think? Can we see that? He's got to be just joking and having fun though, right? That's what I'm thinking. I don't really have a problem with that. It just seems like he's like yeah. enjoying his birthday fun with his friends. birthday party. Yeah. You Do can't even have want. fun it's at your own birthday. birthday now. Yeah. You can't even have fun at your own birthday now without the internet. It's not like, it's, yeah, crazy. it's not like he was on a stage being like, I've got this big performance. Yeah. He's just having fun. Brie TC, this is your uh, girl, Josh, selling Sunset Star Brie TC, meaning who filmed, jo yeah, who Josh filmed with the show. And Mitch, yeah, don't, up don't call her my girl. I'm going to get in trouble after the show. She's <laughs> not my girl. I, I, my I girl. thought it was clarified after. With like that, you were on the show with her. Mm -hmm. I didn't yeah, mean I like, been. yeah, you hooked up with her. Um, said she hooked up <laughs> with Michael B. Jordan in the past on this season of Selling Sunset at the reunion while taking a lie detector test. Bree said Michael B. Jordan was not good in bed. That's the worst. Damn. Why? Why? That why are you gonna do a guy like that? Well, she was hooked up to a lie it? detector, and they probably asked her. She probably was set up for the question. Yeah, for sure, definitely. Let's say it. She could have tried to say yes. Is Michael B. Jordan good in bed? Oh my god. I'm going to be in so much trouble. <laughs> oh, <shit>. No. <laughs> yeah, no, she didn't give a fuck. Oh, she didn't give a fuck. Yeah. That's true. <laughs> well, that, that, yeah, there's no need to do a guy dirty like that. We all try the best yeah. we can. 
Yeah. Like, uh, Some like, people don't have as much motion in the ocean. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, yeah, let, that, it, that's let, tough. It, let it chill. That's tough. Yeah, that sucks, man. Uh, Mr. Beast, because how did Michael B can't do anything to prove against that? Right. You know, what's he gonna go out and just have sex? Go on a spree? <laughs> which I'm, I mean. He's probably fine. That's not really going to impact him. He's Michael B. Jordan. This guy is so good looking. You know what I mean? Pause. Maybe he thinks but he's so good looking he doesn't have to be good at sex. No, but Bree, the, that, like, I remember Call <laughs> Her Daddy. so sad. Call Her Daddy back in the day. They're <laughs> like, hey, advice to guys, don't come so fast. It's like, yeah. you think oh. we don't know that? Like, that's like. <laughs> you what? think we're, like, trying to, like, get a sprint going? Like, we're, yeah. it's, not a, it's not a goal of ours. We're not yeah. like, hey, I'm going to finish before you. Yeah, no, it's like. <laughs> Sometimes shit happens. It's like we know it. it's like it, all a baseball players like I didn't mean to fucking groove a fastball 85 miles down the middle and have it hit nine times. Sometimes you you have no control. Well, then you have to make up for it uh, and and go round 2 and it seems like he didn't. Again, that's not always like there's science involved. <laughs> Mr. Beast there is science involved. Mr. Beast accused of and if we're talking about science, the the science of it is guys should Climax as fast as possible. Move on to the next. That's science. Mr. Beast accused of wait what is that science? Wait, Sorry, evolution what? is that you... a hundred percent evolution? What? Yeah. Okay. Men, what do you mean evolution? Men, You're just saying big words now, and I'm no men. Science, men, men want like men are supposed to yeah blow a load and just go yeah oh. as many babies and offspring as fast mm. get get mark your territory move on do it again okay. Huh. That's evolution. It's science. That's I think evolution. we become a little it's bit science. more science. civilized. You guys just got a though, whole right? fucking science lesson. Wow, I miss. School. I can't I believe you. You. Uh, I'm not making that up. Like, an educational show. Like, it sounds like I am, but I'm not. No, you're, that sounds. No, right. I get. I get. Like, yeah, at one point, but I think we've probably evolved as like a society in a little bit of a way, right? Well, yeah, but you. It's still with like humans. You're giving a Bethany Frankel answer. Like Adam and Eve. Like when, when, why do, why do men like look at a girl and be like, oh, her ass is good looking. Well, that's, makes no sense. It's, it's inherent. Procreate. Correct. Right. Right, 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 right. That is science. That yeah. is science. I agree right. with that. Maybe, ass is science. Maybe that's why. 100%. Never mind. <laughs> what, maybe well, what's what why? You gonna say? <laughs> you <cannot laughs> what are you going to say? That you <laughs> maybe that's why you're going to just die alone. Yeah, because I'm what? evolutionary, oh like, perfect. <laughs> but, I, I'm, oh, I'm the but he's just saying oh, you're Dave, supposed don't to. listen to her, dude. <laughs> but don't listen to her, Dave. He hey, said it. be there with he you, dog. Yeah, yeah, Push no, right. in a weird way, that was a compliment. So yeah. yeah. Like, I'm the peak yeah. evolution. Yeah, you're peak you are, evolution. You are the male yeah. model of perfection, there. is what she said. <laughs> exactly what I... Mr. Beast accused of fake being alive for seven days. To celebrate 200 million followers, Mr. Beast spent seven days buried alive in a coffin... Fans think he staged the video. He had an entrance and exit that was hidden by fake dirt because it's too unsafe to have him buried with no escape route. Although midway through the video, Mr. B's friends visit his coffin underground through a tunnel. They said they dug McJohn. Of course. The you can't do that. You, you can't do that, right? Correct. Yeah. You faked it. Well, you, you could. You could. But but yeah, his like friends David Blaine visited him. Not Mr. Beast. His friends visited him and said and they I, dug I'm him. Not sure oh, yeah, Blaine that part. Was all, all on the up and up all the time either. That part, obviously, they either dug it or it was there. But, like, I feel like out of pure safety, you would need to have an exit tunnel somewhere, right? Just so he doesn't die. Yeah, right? Like, yes. he could have stayed in yes. that box, but probably yes. had an exit tunnel that... Would, yeah. Like, you got to realize that's, like, that's a bil multi-billion dollar life right there. Yeah, right. Agreed. Yeah, but that's what You're he's saying, that risk. he didn't I have actually, an exit. Speaking of him... Now I have a little bit of a bone pick to pick with him. With Mr. Beast? YouTube, okay, let's, let's pick some fucking bones. YouTube tweeted out the other day, like YouTube, like the yeah. account, YouTube. Mm -hmm. Like who, what creator is most associated with pizza? Mr. Beast got more votes than me. What is it? What are you talking about? Really? Because he has like a what? picture next to him, a pizza. Was it pizza. like a poll? People just listing it. I saw, I was getting tagged a decent, but... People I never heard of, like, and it was on Twitter though. Yeah, it shows how big the internet is because there were people I never heard of. I'd go look, and like they had no following compared to my. Like, no offense, Mr. Beast is like Mr. Beast. Yeah, but, but not I'm pizza. more pizza than he is. Yeah, of course. You got to be more pizza. You're the pizza guy. Correct. But what, you wouldn't know about these answers. He did one pizza thing like that. Wow. I I mean, you're the pizza guy. Everyone knows that. Dave. Correct. And I'm barely mentioned relative to all these people I've never even heard of. Oh, they're t oh, that's crazy. It's tough. 
We we got to go tweet. Uh, that is crazy. Dave's name, Josh. Yeah. Um. Okay. Okay. Yeah. 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 He's got to he's got to win this week somehow. Yeah. I've had some L's. Streamer under fire for cookie drama. Streamer Pokemon recently launched a new brand of healthy cookies that the internet has torn apart. People are upset. Pokemon is selling four four ounce bags of Mina cookies for twenty eight. When cookies are believed to be a rebrand of another cookie that sold one fourteen ounce bag for forty nine. Pokemon. Pokemon. Pokimane responded to the criticism about our cookies by joking they weren't for broke boys, which only made people more angry. Pokemon later apologized on Black Friday, gave people a free hat with purchase. Okay, who cares? This I thought this was going to get better, but it didn't. Who cares about Poke, Pokemon and our cookies? Anybody? I don't. Okay. Uh, I don't. Is Iggy yeah. Azalea is the top celebrity OnlyFans creator? 45 million. Wow. No, 48 <laughs> million. Wow. Cardi B. Cardi B is at 45. 45 tiger how tiger bring 20 is well, he doing he i think he's like a manager he, i think he his account posts other girls just like random got girls it. And stuff. ah beat yeah, the yeah, system yeah, 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 yeah. ned's declassify yeah, I mean, oh shit. go ahead sorry oh i was just gonna say 20 mil for not even posting yourself that's nuts dude i'm gonna be an only fans manager what right. in the hell is this uh, there's a lot of stuff i don't even know what they are ned's declassified cast do we know what ned's declassified <gasps> is you don't know. You don't know Ned's Declassified. I don't know what Ned's. Declassified. Do you remember Ned's Declassified, Josh? Is this an it's a show? Thing? It was a show, yeah. right? But it was like, oh, you didn't yeah, watch I, it. Watch it. I don't think I. Let me look. Ned's nope, Declassified School it. Survival Guide. Wow. That okay. didn't watch. I guess it. it's just me. Well, they went viral because a clip where Lindsay Shaw, who played Moe's, and Devin Workheiser, who played Ned, talked about Lindsay giving De- Devon blowjobs <gasps> on set. Lindsay all talk- Lindsay also talked about how she ran through every cast member before landing on Devin. <gasps> the picture of these kids, they look like they're twelve. I'm gonna cry. Yeah, that's that ruins this a lot. This seems for like me. Of- pedophilia. No, that the, the, that was in the show. Obviously, they talk about it now as adults. So, when were they doing it though as kids they're all the same age i think they were but they're like probably. they're probably like 16 17 damn it i can't even not believe it wow can we can we watch the clip i yeah i'm gonna it's gonna ruin a lot for me though of course crazy the world is going that. crazy over this yeah do you Quite a few places. Good for them, I guess. That would be wild if that was like, um, what is the show with uh, Zach? And- Zach and Cody? Zach and Cody? No. Like Sweet Life oh. of Zach and no, Cody? No, no, no. Saved by the Bell. Saved by the Bell. Oh. Oh, well, I don't yeah. But this, I don't know what it is. Yeah. I thought to- <laughs> Instagram has Bell, close friends in feed posts. Instagram is taking private stories to the next level with close friends in feed posts and reels that you can share. It's just like group of followers. <laughs> it's like Finsta, kind of. It, I don't trust any of this. Yeah. Whenever I've gotten in trouble or something, people are like, well, I posted on close friends. It's like, yeah, but people screenshot. I don't. There's I, always rats. Yeah, always. Yeah, I never can do that. Never can do that. All right, guys, quick commercial break. So Rent App is teaming up with Barstool HQ to give one of our producers a free month of rent. So you can tune into the New York City office-wide campaign led by Kelly Keegs on Barstool Radio for all talent to pitch why their producer deserves free rent. Paying rent is something we all have to do, and let's be honest, it can sometimes be a bit of a hassle. So what if there was a way to make it all easier, more straightforward, and even beneficial for your financial future? So we can do that introducing Rent App, the ultimate tool for renters everywhere. Rent App takes the hassle out of paying rent by depositing your payments directly into your landlord's bank account. So there's no more trips to the ATM, no more mailing checks, no more managing balances in multiple apps. And get this, there's no fees and no weekly limit. So it's really a win for everybody. Rent app is completely free for you to use. No need for your landlord to create an account. It's completely free for them too. I actually just switched to Rent app because I still have to mail a check and it's the most inconvenient thing ever. So the benefits don't stop there. Rent app is also helping you build a brighter financial future by optionally reporting your on-time rent payments to three major credit card bureaus. Rent app brings you one step closer to home ownership and helps boost your credit store so why wait head to rent.app slash barstool for 50 dollars off your first rent payment and download rent app in the app store today all right bff's corner 
I mean, how was everyone's Thanksgiving? Mine was horrible. See, I had the best Thanksgiving good, good, I've good, had in a while. Good, good. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Awesome. Really Josh, good. you look like it's actually crazy. Zach met the family. Oh wow, you guys are doing great. <laughs> uh we wait, wait, actually wait, talk more too, about that, Brie. Josh, you posted I don't know what happened, but I don't know the chain events. You and your girlfriend posted the BFF hoodies. Oh yeah. And then I fucking saw a post on BFF. Hey, you better buy this hoodie if you want to have a li- happy, long relationship with your significant other. That was literally <laughs> the post. Yo, Josh. Maybe six seconds. So Josh. Sad. You did that? Uh, no, 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 no. To our guy, DP? You got to understand, I didn't, even, I didn't even see the Dave stuff till like Friday morning. I didn't see the Dave and Silvana stuff till Friday morning. And I posted, I went in Jesus, and I was like, yo, dude. Gabby, we have to... I was like, Gabby, we got to film like a little merch promo. Let's film a merch promo. So I put the hoodies on and I'm like, yo, if you guys go buy this hoodie, you're guaranteed a significant other. This shit got you looking so good. Wow. You're going to pick up a significant other. And like, I was like joking around with Gabby in the video and I posted that. And then I wake up and people are like, yeah, great time to post this ad. It like, was, I was just like, it was oh. on. Now that it, I think of it, I did one with Zach too wearing it. And we, the oh. quote, I, I went, I go, what? I sent it first to Gaz, Paul, and then also I'm like, what type of brain dead fucking idiot That's posted crazy. this? Like, honestly, we just broke up in the hoodie. Oh, if you want, if you want a, a great relationship that will never end, buy this oh, hoodie. Oh, John. Look, pretty much guaranteed to get you a significant other. That's what I've been told about these hoodies. Look at the back. Fire. Look at the back. Fire. Lovely. I swear to God, I swear to on my mama, I had no idea. Like, no idea. I woke up to this and I was like, holy yeah, shit. That's tough. That's, that's crazy. It's tough. You actually that's never crazy. even DM me. Josh was like, are you doing okay? Well, I was going to wait. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I don't want to overstep. That's, 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 that's the difference. I texted, I texted him to see if it was real. And then he said no comment. That's the difference so I didn't between know what to what, do. It was is Silvana like Scorsese or like uh, De Niro now? She can act like that? <laughs> well, I didn't know if you guys, if it was one of the like, you'll get back together things. No, I always kind of knew like if we break up, it it it's never. It, it, yeah, I didn't you, know A breakup is the worst. You can't go through it twice. Um, we're at Raising Cane's stressed out we got a video i was stressed as fuck working there to be totally honest it was really busy i respect the workers now a lot yeah. i used to work at like a law school snack bar and an ice cream shop so i have some registered experience okay it's a little stressful it's a little stressful i messed up that i need a 20 yeah, it was a lot. I mean, I liked doing it in the end once I got down. Thank you to everybody who showed up. It was a good crowd. Thank you to Raising Kings. Yeah. It was fun. Uh, the Who's Hotter, Landon Barker versus Isaac Presley. I guess Landon was like, you guys used a bad photo. I mean, I agree. I, I don't like that photo. You guys did. Yeah, at least he was like, come on, switch it up. And then did he start winning? Pulling? Yeah, he did. Easy, yeah. He won on both. Well, he won on both. Yeah. He won on both. Even the bad photo won. He won. But it was a smaller percentage. Yeah. Uh, woman who thinks Dave stole it girl from her. This girl went viral. So... A woman accused Dave and Barcel of stealing our internet, her internet series named It Girl after Barcel's Chicks page rebranded it to It Girl. So basically, we have uh, chicks in the office here at Barcel, who's Rhea and Fran. We have a chicks Instagram account, which is just like an aggregator of like funny, like female oriented co- uh, content. Chicks in the office, are like people are getting confused. They think it's us. Can we change the name of chicks? I was like, yeah, I don't give a fuck. I had nothing to do with coming up with a name. I don't even know where it came from. I asked Paul Gaz, who did. He's like, we had like five different things. This one was available. It girl, this girl comes out of the clouds with a rant tagging me, being like, Dave stole it, Barstool's trash, like a nobody, just a delusional rant from a Delulu girl. Um, So I get, I don't know. Do we want to show it? Crazy. I would just assume there's a super viral song right now called like It Girl. I would assume that's how someone was like, oh, let's do It Girl. And then that it became girl the has name. been around that, since that's, like ever. It's just, it, it's just a saying, It Girl. Yes. Yeah. yeah. The Lulu. Um, Gabby and Josh's Cabo debate. 
Gabby and Josh asked TikTok to settle the debate over Josh initially, not inviting Gabby to go to Cabo for his third friend's 30th. Gabby decided against going when Josh invited her later because she wanted him to have fun with his friends and thought he didn't want her there, which is why he didn't invite her in the first place. Fair. Um, most of Josh's comments were Team Gabby. What do you think? Oh, yeah, I'm Team Gabby. For sure. Yeah, Team Gabby for sure. Yeah, I mean, even even I'd say even like I agree You're team with Gabby. <laughs> Gabby. Yeah, like even I agree with Gabby. But... um. You know, I think first of all, I'm just gonna start off by saying, you know, like never really, never really had a relationship that's been good until I've been with Gabby. So I'm, I'm learning how to be a boyfriend here. You know, I'm, I'm young. I'm trying to figure this shit out. I'm trying to figure out how to be a good boyfriend. So she's, you know, slapping me around and putting me in my place, and I'm figuring this shit out. But it did start off with being presented to me as a boys' trip. It was like, yo, I'm going for my 30th birthday boys' trip, and I was like, fuck yeah. So like. I told Gabby about the trip because, you know, she was on me earlier about not telling her about when I go to things. So I was like, awesome. I'm going to be in the clear. I'm telling her a boy's trip. She's going to be happy with me. I'm expressing like my travel schedule. And then like a week goes by and I get texted a list from Enzo. And I see on the list that there's like a couple girls names. So I'm like, oh, fuck, I got to bring this up to Gabby, you know, like or else she's going to think I'm a liar. So I brought it up to her. Uh, she got a little bit upset and was like, well, then can I go? And I was like, yeah, yeah, I can ask Enzo if you want to go. So we go to see Enzo like a week later or like four days later because we go to get tattoos. And, uh, you know, she was, she had a fair point in saying like, if you wanted me to go, you would have just asked Enzo right away. You wouldn't have waited until we saw Enzo four days later to bring it up to him. You would have just asked. You would have texted him. You would have asked right away. I was like, all right. Fair point. I did wait until the four days that we saw him. I was like, yo, would it be cool if Gabby comes? Um, and he was like, yeah, of course, she can come. So then I told her she could come. Then she didn't want to come because I didn't express enough of me wanting her to be there. So is she coming or I've not? I've learned that. Yeah, what's the? She, I already went on the trip, guys. Oh, 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 oh really? How go. was it? It was, she it was a great trip. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think, I, well, who am I to talk about relationships? I think anytime you're going on a guy's trip to Cabo with a guy named Enzo, the <laughs> girlfriend's not going to love it. That's like a girlfriend's well, worst nightmare. Yeah. <laughs> like, hey, me and, yeah. the guy, me and Enzo, me and Enzo, my Luigi, tattoo buddy, we're the going boys. to Cabo on a guy's trip. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> no no I bitches mean, allowed. Yeah. Oh, but there's other girls coming. Hey, look, yeah. <laughs> look, look, look. I The plans change. And there were girls coming. I didn't know that originally. I, I didn't know. know that. Hand to, I knew hand, this. Uh, hand to God. I, hand, hand to God, God. I didn't know that. I don't know Enzo at all. I know Tattoo Enzo <laughs> is doing a guy's trip to Cabo. Girls are going. I know that. Yeah, 100 Is Enzo Come a promoter? On. Don't play my boy yeah. Enzo like that. <laughs> I just He's know. not a promoter. He's a... He's not no, a I know. It just sounds like one. Yeah. Um, are well, the BFFs you know Enzo, in the Bree? <laughs> He's a good guy. You know Enzo. <laughs> but if for someone that doesn't know Enzo and you hear Enzo the tattoo guy going to Cabo. For Gabby 30, knows Enzo. Like guy's trip. <laughs> Every, my, my girlfriend knows my friend. <laughs> what that what, what the fuck? You think I'm like siloing them off? Like no, 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 She knows but... him. She knows who he is. Are the BFFs Anyways, in the Kardashian's my pocket? I don't know. What the, was this What the hell does that mean? mean? What? Are the BFFs? How would we all fit in one pocket? Yeah, I... Bradley Cooper, though. Wait. They're running the Skims ad on the BFFs episodes. Oh, well, oh. we have no control over that. We have wow. no control over oh, that. They kind of got YouTube. us, though. Wow. Yeah. That's YouTube. They uh, got we already us. Mentioned, they got us. They got everyone. We already mentioned oh. the new merch. The new BFFs merch. Buy it. Does definitely not ensure a long happy relationship <laughs> but it's cool merch it is it's really good it's great it's, it's really pretty. good merch it's really nice merch um, and it'll keep you warm if there's no you'll have the hoodie forever uh, at yes. least warm. the new bfs yeah. producer genevieve now on board where is she she's with josh she's oh, to right. the left of me genevieve oh Come hey like, genevieve tilt in the camera if you welcome want say hello new producer do you want to no, she said she doesn't want yes, to. Yes, because she's we, not read, like her, Austin, we read her the riot act that she's behind camera, not on camera. So she doesn't want yep, to come. She's better Rather, than Austin. Tell she's her, better tell, than Austin. Tell her to come say hello real quick. Dave just says come say hi. hello real quick. Just a real she quick. She has, the headphones, so they know that she has the headphones on. Hi. That's Genevieve. So welcome, hi. Genevieve. She's real. She's real. All right. Uh, so that's BFFs. This should be interesting. That's BFFs. That's BFFs. That's BFFs.